National Security Advisor Mike Flynn on the job. But after twisting for three days in the wind, tonight mixed messages from the White House. Question. A strong you defense from one top answer. aide. Is, does he have the full confidence of the president? Yes, he does. But an hour later, a different signal from the press secretary, tonight saying the president is evaluating the situation. He's speaking to the vice president, to Vice President Pence, relative to the conversation the vice president had with General Flynn, and also speaking to various other people. Late today, no endorsement from the president. Just for one second. And the vice president also not answering questions. Do you still have confidence in him? Did he lie to you? But a senior official tells NBC News Flynn has now apologized to Mike Pence after Pence vouched for him, denying Flynn had even discussed sanctions with the Russian ambassador in a phone call before President Trump took office. I talked to General Flynn about uh, that that conversation. They did not discuss anything having to do with uh, the United States' decision to uh, expel diplomats or, or uh, I impose a censure against Russia. Flynn later changing his story, saying he's not 100 percent sure the topic didn't come up. But behind the scenes, White House sources telling NBC News several aides are pushing the president to fire Flynn, although that move is not imminent. Still, Flynn's communications with the Russians, already part of a larger congressional intelligence investigation, and Democrats are demanding he be fired. How can you rely on a national security advisor to make policy uh, if that advisor is going to be uh, untruthful with people. The uproar coming in the midst of reports of turmoil within the national security ranks. Career officials seeking other assignments. It's a real toxic environment right now. Nobody knowing who's in charge because of the a fight between uh, Mike Flynn and uh, Steve Bannon. Tonight, Mike Flynn's future as national security advisor is up to one man, the president of the United States. One friend who spent time with Mr. Trump in Florida this weekend telling me, don't look for a sudden shakeup. The president is in a fact-gathering mode right now. And tonight, Sean Spicer telling reporters that Mike Flynn has not submitted his resignation. Lester? All right, Andrea Mitchell, thank you.